Hey, welcome back on this Mayor Monday. This morning we're headed to one of Oregon's biggest and fastest growing communities, the city of Hillsboro. Hillsboro is one of the most populated cities in the state and is home to the Silicon Forest, where numerous tech companies reside. Joining us live with some community updates is the mayor of Hillsboro, Steve Calloway. Good morning to you, Mayor. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for thank you for uh, letting me be with you. Today. Yeah, thanks for being on again. I know we've we've spoken to you during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, things are are starting to, you know, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And one of those things, the Hillsboro Hops playing again. They are. So they just finished their first series of six games against Everett. And um, there's a, actually a doubleheader today with the Eugene Emeralds. And um, so there is lots of baseball being played out at Ron Tonkin Field. Um, it's also worth noting that due to the uh, travel restrictions between the United States and Canada, the Vancouver Canadians are also playing their season in Hillsboro. So when the hops are on the road, Vancouver is playing in Hillsboro. So you will be able to see a professional baseball game just about every day from now until the middle of September. So it's an exciting time for baseball fans. That wow. is cool. Is, yeah. the, is all the same food and everything still out there for those <laughs> games too? Everything is the same. They're, they're being run, um, you know, with different staff, but uh, everything that we as, as fans enjoy, you will uh, you will find a lot of commonality and similarity. Huh? Okay, that's why I know we're both worried about what's the food situation. Yeah, what's the food and be beer like? situation? Right. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it is. It is. Food. <laughs> It's it is all there. You'll, you'll hear the Canadian National Anthem before every game, obviously, um, you know, when the Vancouver is playing. Uh, but that's about the only that's about the only difference that uh, you'll hear, you know, two national anthems instead of just one. OK, mm -hmm. cool. that's very cool. Hey, you know, we've been talking a lot on the show about vaccinations available at the fairgrounds or the Oregon yep. Convention Center. But I know you guys have some sites that are going to be closer to home for people in Hillsboro. Yes. So we've been working with our, our local partners. Washington County, um, you know, OHSU, Tuolity, Virginia Garcia, uh, because we know that not everybody has the flexibility and, uh, and accessibility to go to the convention center or to the Portland airport. So we are really working to um, provide options, you know, and targeting some of our uh, under vaccinated uh, community members. So we're doing it in, um, you know, bilingually, we're doing it, uh, you know, in neighborhoods at our senior center where it's easier to get to. And we also recognize that within some cultures, it's really important to know and trust the person that's giving you that vaccine. And so we're making sure that they that uh, we're, we're being culturally uh, uh, sensitive to that and, and providing you know, the, the kind of experience that, in, uh, that, that just engenders the best trust, uh, you know, to get that vaccine. Because being able to have baseball, being able to do things that we enjoy during the summer are all uh, directly related to getting vaccinated. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And that also includes, you know, when the teachers got vaccinated. Uh, I know you're a former elementary school principal. The schools are back open. Yes. How is all that going? really well um and you know bless their hearts uh teachers have worked so hard parents and kids and it's so good to have the kids getting back into school and it it's almost it seems strange when i see a school bus you know out on the road but it's a reminder drive safely observe um the the speed limits and you know in the spring when the sun may be in our eyes make sure that you're driving extra cautiously now that kids are back at school you know even if it's uh on part-time basis please do everything we can to make sure they get there and home safely yeah some good reminders um also a good reminder we got an election coming up may 18th is election day uh, are there some local elections you, you want to encourage people to get out the vote for Absolutely. And, and thank you. And, and, you know, throughout your whole viewing audience, remember to vote because these are our local elections with school board or PCC board or like in Beaverton, there's a, a special election to fill a vacant council seat. And these are the elected officials that, you know, they don't drive to another city to do their work. They stay in our cities, you know, our school at our uh, schools. Uh, uh, you know, school board buildings and, and, our, and our city halls um, and PCC. So these are the folks that we elect that really make the most local of decisions. So remember to vote. It's, of course, a mail-in ballot, 
Um, so if, if you need to go back and search around in your pile of mail, find your ballot, be educated. Everything is online and you have your voters pamphlets, but please make sure that you vote. Um, ballots are due by eight on May 18th. And sometimes these uh, spring, spring elections where there's not a lot of candidates or issues are ones that, that kind of slip by. So please, these are as important as a, as a presidential election in November. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got mine at home, ready to ready to fill out. Same here. Good yeah. for you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. Mayor Steve Calloway of Hillsboro. Happy Monday to you. Thank you. Have a great week. Yeah, you, you too. too.